here I am at Worth W. Smith. I'm going to go in there and see if I can find something great to get my husband for Christmas. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Hey. Hi, Kendall. How are you? Great. Hey, listen, I need to find something really great for Christmas for my okay. husband. Yeah. Can you help me? Absolutely. Take my radio, my apron off. Uh, first things first, I think I'd like to show you a few things not to get your husband or boyfriend for Christmas. Okay. So, let me put this here and come on and follow me. Okay. First, let me tell you about a few things you should not, not, not get your husband or boyfriend. Ladies, if you're watching this, these are some really good hints. Okay, first of all, the only exception to the rules of the I'm about to tell you is if you know for a fact that your husband or boyfriend want these things, like they have told you, they have written it out, otherwise do not get them these things. One is a candle. That's a really famous thing for people to buy each other, and if your husband loves candles, get him a candle. But don't get him smelly stuff like a candle, dish soap, or anything like that. Get him, get him something that he really wants. Um, two, let me think. Uh, don't get him anything offensive. Don't get him a gym membership. Don't get him a nose hair trimmer. Um, let me think. Don't get him uh, ties or mugs. Unless he collects ties and mugs. The, again, the exception is if he loves it. If he told you, honey, I really need ties and mugs. That's all I need is ties and mugs. I'm all out. Then get him that. But otherwise than that, don't get him that. Um, there is one more thing I'd like to show you not to get him. And if you could just follow me this way. It's right this way. Okay. Toolbox? I thought you always get a toolbox for your husband. You never get a toolbox unless if your man is a handy man and he has a lot of tools, then he probably needs something a little bit larger than something like this. This is like tackle box size. If you're young like me and you only have a couple tools, go for it. But what I really suggest, ladies, is go down into your husband's basement, into your boyfriend's basement, check out what they have. But you gotta do it really secretly. Sneak down there, say, what does this guy have? And then if he doesn't have the toolbox, go ahead and get him this. Otherwise, if he is the working man, he probably needs something a little bit more like this. Wow. We would love to sell you something like that here at Wordsmith. Um, but now that I've talked a little bit about what not to get your boyfriend or husband, let us talk a little bit about more uh, what you should get them. All right, let's go this way. Now, a really excellent idea. I'm really proud of this idea because I came up with it. I'm sure someone else did too. But, one of these babies right here. This here is a drawer cabinet. All these are little bins that you can pull out. And what you can do, you can fill it with anything, jelly beans, anything you want to fill it with. But what I would do if I were you, and your husband is a handy man, would be to fill it with bolts. Hi. Now this whole aisle is full of screws, washers, nuts, bolts, wow. anything you can imagine. And I would fill up one of these so that your man is prepared for every job that he needs to do. Wow, that's a great idea. All right, let's go take a look at another one. Okay, the third thing on my list on what you ladies should get your men for the holidays is this Echo Chainsaw. Now, I bought one of these babies for my dad um, last Christmas. My whole family chipped in. And I've never seen a regular man turn into a lumberjack overnight. But we didn't see my dad for weeks. The man was just out cutting trees and he loved it, absolutely loved it. Again, only get him this if he needs it, but this is an excellent present. It has that wow effect. Uh, he'll be able to use it for years to come. And we sell several different styles here at Wordsmith. So I definitely suggest going with the Echo Chainsaw. All right, let's go look at something else. While we're on the lumberjack note, I'd just like to talk about one thing real quick. Take a look at this three and a half pound, beautiful double-sided ax. If you or your husband or your boyfriend or whoever does not have an ax, 
get them an axe for Christmas. They can go out and be a lumberjack, they can chainsaw it down, and they can chop it up with an axe. Uh, let's look at some of our different styles. We got this nice S-wing right here. We've got the Fisker's Mall Axe. Um, this is a splitting axe. It's got a nice hollow handle right there. Take a look at this. Oh, baby, you could really split a log with that. Um, check out these babies. These are our new S-wing uh, hatchets. Look at that. That's the tomahawk style. This is the double-edged, whatever that is, style. And you could chuck that any direction you want. It would stick in a tree. Um, but yeah, I definitely suggest for this holiday season, go out and get your significant other an axe. Alright, here is just a general idea. I know this is a really famous, popular, used for a long time, but it never fails. The DeWalt drill right here. If your husband or your boyfriend does not have a drill and you want them to hang up that picture of your kids on that concrete wall, he's going to need a drill at some point. So I would go ahead and suggest we've got a really nice selection right here. Um, go ahead and get your husband or boyfriend a drill. Okay, last but not least, get them some socks, get them some gloves, get them some hats. These are really more stocking stuffers, but if you can't decide what to get your husband or boyfriend, um, these are really little gifts that say, I love you, stay warm while you're out working hard in the snow. And he'll see that whatever gift you get him this year, he's going to see the love that you put into that gift. Um, if you can't think of any other gifts, uh, or if you don't like any of the suggestions that I suggested earlier, we do have a card here at Work W. Smith. You can put any amount of money on it. I suggest doing it. I've gotten it before, and, and that way he gets to pick whatever he decides. Um, so that's all I have for you right now. If you have any more questions, please come down. If you need help thinking of any more gift ideas, any one of us in the store would help, love to brainstorm with you. Great. I have a lot to think about. I'll have to make some decisions to decide. Okay. Thanks, Kendall. Absolutely. Have a great day.